I wanted to make a little video about the durability of the Sublime Extra Fine Merino Worsted. It's a relatively new yarn for Sublime, about two years it's out. Um, and so I've already knit three sweaters with it. And so, you know, that's not enough to know how it's going to last in the long haul, you know, five, ten years, because you can get that kind of life out of a sweater. But I think it's enough to have a good idea. Um, so the first sweater I knit out of the Sublime Extra Fine Merino Worsted was a cardigan. And I knit it back and forth, and I knit it on a size 5. And I feel like it's just a little too um, loose. I, I think for back and forth knitting, for me, I should have went with a 4. But, you know, I like the sweater. It, it certainly is wearable. Um, and it's holding up nice. It doesn't stretch out. And then there's the question of pilling. And if you look underneath the arm, yeah, there's some fuzz. It, it, it does it does acquire a, a little bit of, of, of a halo and, and fuzz. Not to the point where I would say it's terrible and I wouldn't want to work with this yarn. I think if it was knitted tighter, I probably would have less of it. Um, but nonetheless, there is a little bit of it there. I have to say I do love this yarn. It's extremely comfortable to wear. It's very soft, zero itch factor. So th to me that that's worth a lot. And I think it, it does great uh, texture uh, definition. I did a little bit of a kind of a seed stitch on the cuff. Uh, and I, I do really like it. So this, this sweater, I don't wear all that much. It, it's kind of like a going out to dinner jacket. So it, it doesn't get worn and washed that terribly much. But I had, that's the, I've had that sweater for two years now. So it's the longest, um, longest project I've had with that yarn. Then this one, this sweater I knit for my son. And he didn't like the way it fit. So I uh, turned it into a sweater for me. I shortened the sleeves. And I wear this sweater a lot. Like, every time it's washed, I'll wear it pretty much consistently for three days, four days. Give it a rest. Wear it again. I love this sweater. It's super cozy. It's very comfortable. And it's not... Sometimes sweaters are too hot, especially wool sweaters. But it's not too hot. It is my go-to sweater. So... I did knit this one on a four, so this one did get, and it was knit circularly, not back and forth. And if you look at the tummy, you can see a little bit of a fuzz, you know? It's not without signs of wear, but I certainly wouldn't call it pilling. I've never had to take a razor to it or one of those pilling type things, uh, you know, to shave off fuzzes. I, I would say it's, it's wearing definitely to my satisfaction. I'm not disappointed in the amount of, uh, of fuzz that this sweater creates. And if you look underneath the arm, very little again. I'm not 100% sure how much the camera is showing. But it, it, it's wearing definitely to my, to my happiness and my expectations. Again, you can see uh, the beautiful definition that, that you get with a pattern. So, overall, for patterning and uh, just basic stockinette knit, it is a by far a winner. So then the next question you want to know about a yarn is how does it hold up for color work? And this is my first color work project with this yarn. And uh, again, I can, just, from, just from knitting it, I can see a little bit of a fuzz factor on the shoulder. But I think washing it and blocking it is going to take care of that. And then I will, I will wear it a lot. I, I tend to do that when I, when I just knit a sweater. I wear it a lot to make sure that I'm happy with it and how it's holding up and just to kind of put it through the ringer. So this is Sublime Extra Fine Merino Worsted. As far as durability goes, I say it's very durable. Don't be afraid to use it for color work, uh, stockinette, texture, blankets, anything that is going to be hard wearing. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.